I am so excited about this tree. This is an olive tree and I just love olive trees. Now what you'll notice is this olive tree has very small leaves. Say very small leaves. I have a big olive in the garden here as well. And they have much larger leaves. Even though that one is poorly fertilized and also already has small leaves. But this one has small leaves naturally. This is a different type of olive than the olive trees that you normally get your fruits from. This tree came to me four weeks ago from Italy. And you can tell the little bits of frost that we've had have ruined all the new growth on the branches that was there. During transport it suffered some damage and the soil that it is in is very organic and wet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this out of the pot, I'm going to prune the roots back, I'm going to style the tree, give it an initial shape, decide what I'm going to do with the big cuts here, and give you a little bit of info about olive trees in general. Let's start there. Olive trees in general. Olives are of course a Mediterranean species. They grow really well in nice warm climates. They don't like frost. They don't mind the odd degree of frost, but if it starts really freezing, olives, for me, they move into a protected shed and I never let them get any colder than minus 2 or minus 3 Celsius, so 26, 28 Fahrenheit. That being said, once spring starts heating up, they start pushing. But what you can also tell here, they push predominantly at the ends of the branches, the growing tips here or the last buds on the branch. So to get these to back bud, there's a very simple trick and in spring what you do you start removing the leaves from the areas where you want branches. Now I'm plucking them. Normally I would actually take a scissor and I'd cut them off and leave the little branch stalks so not to damage any buds that are here in the elbow. So that's one of the first styling tips for an olive. If you want back budding, make sure in early spring as the tree starts to push, you remove the leaves from parts of the branch. That's where they'll create back buds. Then you'll see they create clumps of branches and of course you reduce these two individual branches. You can wire these out. The wood can be very pliable in spring and summer. In winter not so much. They break a lot in winter. So I style these at the same time that I style that I repot. So roughly May, June as the temperatures are heating up and summer is starting to get up. Then you'll see that from lots of points on the trunk buds will pop, it will start growing. Repotting an olive is not all that hard. They take root pruning really well. In fact, I could cut this with a saw here, plant this up in a pot, put a piece of plastic over it, and in the next 12 to 24 months it would root and start growing. Yes, if you have a cutting of an olive and it is still green, even though it has been over a year, it can still start growing again. So don't give up too early on those. Now what am I going to do with this one? You can see it has a very nice taper. All the growth is moving into that direction, so this is going to be the back of the tree and this will probably be the front of the tree. However, there's a big stump here, there's a big stump there and there's a big branch here. I will have to remove a lot of leaves, pot it up and then decide which direction to take this time. This pot is maybe a little bit large, but then again I want a lot of growing for the next couple of seasons. I'm going to take this out of the pot, prune back the roots Fill this with a well-draining substrate. Note, olives love water as long as the substra substrate drains well. So let's get this out of the pot and see what the roots look like. Very wet soil. Now looking at these roots, there's very few roots. It looks like this was indeed a stump where the main roots were cut off, then left to grow for a season, but not much more than that. So no styling for this tree, I think this year. I'll just clean out the root ball all the way to the base of the tree. And then I'll plant it in the white pot, give it lots of sun and fertilizer, and keep the real styling for next year. In a minute, I will cut back to individual branches maybe remove a few leaves but I'm not going to do any wiring it just isn't ready for it yet it really needs to recover for another year before I can do any proper styling it's a little bit of field soil so some of these roots were actually from the field but it's not a well rooted specimen 
going to plant it quite deep. Really cover everything, including the cut here. Because if you see the cut here, there are some fine roots at the top. So if you can get the nabari to start here without having the cut in view, that'd be really, really nice. Going to remove all the old soil, including basically the wet dirt. So I get better drainage once blooded up. Here as well, there's a big root cut with side roots that have started to develop but are not very strong. I thought I didn't need to wire it in because it'd be a heavy, dense root ball. Um, there are no roots actually to use for proper wiring in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just tie it down from the individual branches to some holes that I've made in the side of the pot. It is a bit of a shame. I had hoped that I could do more, but well, getting this to reroot is more important than showing you how to style an olive. I'm just removing a few of the dead tips. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, there's two branches here. I'll remove one of those. And here there's a cluster. Remove one and one from below, just like that. A little bit more open but yeah for the rest i think i'll just have to let it grow and we're in the middle of summer and look at how this tree has developed it is pushing growth like nothing has happened to it it is solidly rooted in the pot it's now time to style of course i don't want to make a half hour video and i want to at some point also publish this video so i'm not going to style in this video i'm now just going to remove a few weeds Think of the styling, do the styling, and in the second video, which will come out maybe in a year or two, I'll show the styling of this tree and how it develops over a year or two of growth after styling. It's going to have lots of work on that wood. It's going to have lots of wiring. I'm going to remove probably 80% of the tree. Next video on this olive. See you then. This was it for now. Thank you for watching and keep growing bonsai.